Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If you don't know my name, my name is Nietzsche, and you're watching It's Nietzsche. Ah! Um, so I'm back. Why do I always start off my videos with my hair looking like this? Let me go fix it. Hold on one second, guys. My hair changed my shirt because it's really hot in here with the hoodie on. But basically, as you guys told about the title's video, I'm going to be doing a back to school haul. Before I start off this video, I just want to say that in no way, shape, or form am I trying to brag. And this video is completely 100% not sponsored by any of these brands. Um, but yeah, hopefully one day it can be sponsored by these brands. So, you know, like, hit me up, y'all. Um, but basically, I love back to school season. I love shopping for back to school stuff. Just because it's stuff that you're going to be using for a big part of your year because school is like, it takes up most of your year. Yes, you have your weekends and stuff, but school is something you have to do for 12, wait, no, 13 years, because kindergarten through 12, yeah. 13 years, and I'm just really excited to show you guys. So as you guys know, I go to private school, and I'm actually going back to that school. It's gonna be my, but basically, we have uniforms. So I have to wear my shirt at the school, we have to buy from the school. And last year, we can only wear khakis, but this year we can wear black. I'm not really gonna show you like the bottoms I got, because they sell them come in the mail. I'm hoping they come before school starts because if not, I'll have to wear khaki and I really don't want to wear khaki. But I got a bunch of black skirts and I'm really excited to wear those this year. I will be doing like a first, like a, like the first week of school lookbook for the, for my channel. So stay tuned for that video. I, what I can show you guys are my shoes because that's another type of like, I guess like clothes item or like whatever that we're allowed to wear to school. So each year I get um, two pairs of shoes. Um, one more for like when I know I'm going to be on my feet a lot or another ones that are just kind of cute and like I know are going to get ruined after like the first month of school. So I'm going to start off with the first shoes I've got. These are my Stephen Madden, um, how would I like, oh my god I forgot the word, but like they're like high tops. They're not high tops, but they're, they're platform shoes, not high tops. Sorry for the confusion guys. You know what I mean? All right. And I got these just because they're really cute and our uniform is kind of basic. So this will give me a bit of pop of color as orange, pink, and white, and yellow, and white. And then these are from the brand Stephen Madden. And then these are in a size um, 11. Then I also got another shoe. Of course, I had to get a pair of Nikes. And I got, I shop men's shoes because men's shoes are usually more comfortable and they're a lot cuter in my opinion. I got the ZM Streak Spectrum Plus Premium in a size nine in men. And they kind of just look like this. They're very busy. So these will definitely give me that little pop that I need to make my day a lot brighter. And they come with green and pink strings. They come with both of them laced up in, I believe, green. And then I took the other green out and just put the pink in because I wanted to make my shoes a little mix match. Still not sure what shoes I'm gonna wear for the first day of school. I think I'm gravitating more towards the Stephen Madden shoes, but we will see. Next part, we're gonna show you guys my backpack. So every year I get a new backpack depending on if the backpack from last year is still able to use. Um, so last year I had my pink, I have like a pink Vera Bradley backpack with flowers. And I really like Vera Bradley backpacks. I've had them in the past before and I decided to get a new one this year as I will use the pink one that I got last year for traveling and stuff. So I always do that and I'll use them for traveling for a few years and then I'll either donate them or give them away to family or I'll just use them the next year at school. But I got a new one this year just because mine from last year is a bit like torn up inside. And I know my books are going to be a lot heavier this year since I'm going into eighth grade. So yeah, so I got this print. It's and really of course, cool. we always like to have our lanyards. I'm only covering this because my credit card's in here. But we also got the matching lanyard set and I will keep like my ID in here and my credit card and like my money and some like, chapstick and stuff just so I can have it on me so I have to go dig into my backpack for certain things. So yeah. Now onto my lunchbox. So I really don't like Vera Bradley lunchbox just because they won't fit my containers because I pack my own lunch and they won't fit the containers we have. And they're also quite small. And so last year I got the same type of one. It's a Fulton um, bag, it's from Target. And we got the blue one last year, they're insulated. And then this year we got the gray one just cause it matches more of the theme. So yeah, it kind of just opens up. And um, there's like a little pocket that I can put stuff in here as well. So that's pretty great. Now onto the supply planner. I just kind of wanted a planner so I could plan out my things. And the reason I got this planner is because I like when they have like a monthly overview. And then also like 
the daily roof like the daily thing so it's really nice and it's super cute and this was only $3.99 at Ross not really sure how much the lunchbox was because I really didn't pay attention to the price just because it was like on sale I think and stuff so yeah now on to binders so I got two binders because I really don't like trapper keepers and our school suggests that you get a trapper keeper, but I like to keep myself organized by using binders. So I get two binders, one for my earlier classes, like before lunch, and then one for my later classes. So I have a two inch yellow binder, and this is gonna be for my morning classes so I can have my morning day with a bit of sunshine, and it also matches my backpack because there's like pops of yellow on my backpack. And then I also got gray, also a two inch binder. And then to go along with my binder, of course I had to get um, the dividers with pockets. I prefer the ones with pockets just so that if I get papers from that class, I can just put it in there. And yeah, and it comes with eight and I can divide these in between two of my um, binders. And then also last year I invested in getting one of these and it really did help. I still have mine. Mine last year was a bit cuter. It was like blue with floral and yes, I could still use it but it got there's like a i went to go see if i could use it this year and there's like a big crack down the middle like inside and i didn't want to like risk it and it just has a like tie like and i can like say like my tests in here and like homework if i need to turn it in or like um things for tests that i need to keep or things if i need to get signed or like papers that the school gives out so this is really helpful and i also like to keep my notes in here if i have like a test coming up and i will organize them and like which one I need to study for more. So this is actually like a really good purchase. And I got the Walmart, I'm um, the Target one just because I really didn't need like a really fancy one and the gray matches like my theme. And then after that, we got three pencil cases. I don't, don't think I noticed that I got three pencil cases, but my friend Selena, I watched, she also has a YouTube channel and she did a um, back to school haul and she got this like really cool pencil case, kind of like this. I think from the same brand but a bit different and it opens up and then it pops out so this will be the one that i'll keep in my backpack for like um, pencils and like pens and highlighters and then i got these i got two of these and these will go inside my binders for like pencils and pens or if like certain classes need sticky notes or index cards so yeah and then while we're on like the whole classes and notebooks um i got a five subject notebook just depending like Usually, like some of our, like one of my last year literature, we had to have a five hundred notebook just for her class. So in case we have to do that again this year, I already got mine, and it said to get one on the list. And knowing me, um, I'm gonna like to have my things separated for certain classes, especially for math this year. So I got this big five hundred notebook, and then I also got a pack of um, five single, like five, like just like five one subject notebooks, and they came in a pack, so they were a lot cheaper than just buying them individually and yeah i like college ruled and y ruled um y ruled for my um five subject notebook and then college ruled for my regular notebook and then of course we had to get our paper to fill it in i got the college ruled and forced to fill in my um, binders and then they both have 100 sheets and then usually midway through the year i'll have to go out and buy more but i just got these to start me off throughout the year and then i got some like little decorations for like my room slash like locker depending if i want to and it's like those little letter boards. They were on sale. They were like in that like dollar section area. So I got this really as a part of school, but super cute. Um, now I can show y'all like my pens and pencils and all that fun stuff. I um, also got like a power strip for my room and then maybe for school. Um, this year we can't have laptop, laptops. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring mine and stuff. But if I can, then I might end up using this just so other people can plug in their computers as well. So I'm definitely going to like keep this in mind if I know we're going to need one in class. But yeah, it was super cute. It's blue and it was on sale as well. And then um, this year I am taking geometry honors, which if you guys do not know is a high school class. And for that, you're going to need like the math set. So I got, of course, the little math set. And I got my rule. I got a flexible ruler just so that I'm able to shove it in my backpack if I need to. And that. And then, of course, I got my Ticonderoga erasers and cap eraser set just because I like to use Ticonderoga pencils. And then for me, I like to just get regular. Like, I don't really like mechanical pencils because I'm a, I ride very hard. So, I, hard, not hard. So, I got these, which are super, super cute. And I really, really like them. And then, of course, I got a pencil sharpener. Um, what else did I get? Oh, 
I got these just pens for like me to like give out to friends if they need to borrow one or if I just need to write in regular. Last, I got the Papermate Ballpoint. Um, I got these last. I got the other ones that like everyone has. And they were really good, but I lost them super quickly. And they are super expensive. And I really didn't want to like get them and then lose them super quickly. So I just got these. And I'm praying that I don't lose them this year. And I also got um, these binder clippers. And I'll keep these in my binders if I need to like pull something out. And I know exactly where it is. And then last thing I got, I believe. Let me double check my bags. Yeah, last thing that I got are my highlighters. Um, I like to highlight a lot. It's just one of the easier things for me to do. So that's what I bought. Um, pretty much that's everything that I bought. And then also I am going to be taking the SATs this year. So I also have my SAT books that I might bring to school. I'm still not sure about it. I'm still contemplating it just because they are super big. They are already all tabbed and all of that fun stuff. But yeah, so I have all that fun stuff. So I'm super excited for the school year. I cannot wait to see all my friends and just have fun at school and really enjoy eighth grade year and get really good grades, hopefully. So I hope everyone really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe down below. Turn on your hashtag post, notifications. And like I always say, I will see you guys on the woe side. Whoa. <laughs>